All right. So what I'd like to do is just kind of go through this. Um, can I actually kind of show you guys three different ways, three different ways we've talked about this. Okay. So the first way we've talked about this, or at least that I have reiterated probably more than any other time, is guys, when you have a, when you have a variable in the denominator, all right, you have to get that variable off the denominator. So the first way is to multiply by x minus 1 on both sides. Right? By multiplying by x minus 1 on both sides, that divides out. You're left with 3 equals 7 times x minus 1 over 8. And now, guys, it's just a simple solve for x, like undo what's happening to you. So you can see I'm being multiplied by 7, divided by 8, and then add a 1. So you know you can do this individually. You can multiply by 8 on both sides. 24 equals 7 times x minus 1. Then you'd have to divide by 7, because you can't go outside the parentheses. You can't divide that. Um, and then you could add 1 to both sides. Is it OK then, guys, if I rewrite 1 as 7 over 7? Is that OK? Yes. To make, thing, to make life a little bit easier? 24 plus 7 over 7 31. equals x. So x equals 31 over 7. Cool. That works. I don't mind that. Right? And you could probably skip your steps. I just showed it step by step for you guys. Um, but let's think about this. Is there maybe some other ways? Remember the law of sines? When that was the law of sines with a proportion. Remember, sine of a could be on top or sine of a could be on the bottom, right? So since this is a proportion, it's kind of like, kind of treat it like that. See how that works? Oh, well, let's see. Multiply by 3 on both sides. Three, so that's 24 over 7. Hey. x equals 31 over 7. It's kind of like it, right? Now again, be careful. That only works for a proportion. That means when a ratio is equal to a ratio, all right? Um, now, the next one is usually students don't understand this. This sometimes cannot be as always confusing as well. So then we default in Algebra 1 to teaching, all right, just do cross multiplication. You guys love cross multiplication because everybody's like, oh, I can remember cross multiplication, right? And, but guess what, where most mistakes happen is students will start applying cross multiplication to everything. Cross multiplication only works, guys, when you have a proportion equal to another proportion. All right? And then also, you're going to have a product equal to the other product. Sometimes people like, I don't know what they do, they just always make some crazy stuff. So I think it's important for you guys to understand this first. And as long as you understand this method, if you want to do the cross product for simplicity and speed, then I'm OK with that. 7 times x minus 1 equals 8 times 3. And therefore, you get 7x minus 7 equals 24 plus 7 plus 7. 7x equals 31. Divide by 7, x equals 31 over 7. OK, three different ways to do the same problem. And you guys couldn't even do one. I don't know. Did anybody get the answer? Yes? Yeah, all right. Good. Good job. Daniel's like, I did it. <laughs>